I am John Graydon. I am the Executive Director of the University of Michigan Comprehensive Depression Center and the founding chair of the National Network of Depression Centers. It's a group of 21 really stellar administrative places throughout the country working together analogous to cancer. I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. But why am I speaking today? Because I am more or less by my entire career a depressionologist. I have been a specialist in trying to deal with depression to prevent recurrences, to address what biomarkers we might find, but most importantly, how do we develop better diagnostic tests, better treatments that get people better and keep them better. The ultimate goal, and my real interest, is if we can do those things, we then can prevent treatment-resistant depression. And the reality is, is that right now, we can't using the techniques we have accomplish those things. So of the 15, 16% of the population, one in six of us who develop depression in a lifetime, something like about 30% of those become treatment resistant. They account for probably the highest healthcare cost, burden, and disability for any disease in the world. So we need to do more, we need to do better, we need to find earlier, we need to get better diagnoses, and we need to get people better so we don't get treatment-resistant depression. To accomplish some of those things, we pulled together a various collection of experts at the University of Michigan Depression Center, all working in different aspects, and compiled a book for American Psychiatric Press. That's called Treatment Resistant Depression, a Roadmap for Effective Care. The goal is how do we find it earlier, treat more effectively, keep people better, and essentially educate a new generation to accomplish this. I hope you visit EPI at the American Psychiatric Association and consider taking some of these things back home for yourself and for those that you educate and work with. Thank you.